Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of my Yash campaign in Stir Division 2 playing on the Soviet side. Previously we completed our movement on the left side of our front line and now we're going to be continuing the same in the center. We have two places we want to push. We want to of course push towards Yash itself and we also want to push on the left flank of this front line. So I'm going to need to work away or work out a way around this fortification or we can just slam straight into it one of the two i don't think i have any artillery in range to stop them from coming in because what i could do in theory is probably bombard them or something and then push into the second battalion of the 5th Infantry Regiment, and that would dislodge these guys without actually having to deal with those defences, which would be a much nicer battle. So, yeah, I can't do that with artillery, but I might, in fact, be able to use some aircraft. Just going to double check. I don't think any of them have bombard ability. Uh, we've got a couple of, like, superiority, but that's about it. Uh, superiority isn't that useful, and we don't have any bombers that we can bring in from the VVS, so... Yeah, looks like we're stuck with having to figure out another way to do this. Okay. So, next thing we can probably do is, I guess, attack one of these units. I think the 1st Battalion of the 32nd Infantry Regiment's a good shout. It can only be reinforced by the 5th Recon Group. So we can do this and then this. That will work out nicely. What are these? They are Katyushas. Okay. Androshas, I love Androshas, but uh, Katyushas probably won't use them as much. But this should be a good attack to make. Pulls in this one as well. I'm actually... Did I bring in this one first? It's actually important which one we have at the top because that's the one that moves into position. I think I'm going to bring in the left one. We'll have the left one move from left to right rather than this one move from right to left because then we manage to maintain our right flank as we push up. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just going to try and get down to the road. So we want to try and stay as far right as possible as we try and break through on this side. I can also try and move down towards Target from Moss to connect there as well. But I think we're just going to smash straight through. Okay, uh, let's tactical battle and we'll jump on. This is quite an open field battle, actually. Alright, their machine guns are probably going to be a royal pain in my ass. But it's okay. We've got 60 points. They have 20. So I can probably take a lot of ground from the start. I could, in fact, do a classic Strauki run towards the enemy from the start. Because it is breakthrough, so we are able to do that. But there isn't anything in terms of defences, so I feel like pushing up with some Stroki is a, is a good idea. Because there may be areas of the map that aren't too well defended, and then we can take a lot of ground very quickly and get the battle over and done with. I didn't actually mean to press the launch battle button there, but that's okay. Um, we can just bring in some more stuff as we go. Just going to have to make sure that I'm paying attention to these units as they come in. There's definitely going to be like some sort of, I guess, AT gun or something that I'm going to have to deal with. There's a unit here somewhere. I think I'm going to unload these like so and then push across. These seem okay for now. Frontline isn't pushing as fast as I would have hoped it would. I'm just going to unload these and we're going to start piling up there. These guys can unload so I don't lose any unnecessarily. And then, yeah, these guys can unload because that MG is going to be opening up soon. Unless I can get into the... I might be able to get into the trees. 
Okay, that's good. Alright, let's push up onto the hill then. Right, these can go for a push all the way towards that objective. I'm going to have a couple of these just cut across and unload into the buildings. These ones can go further up and unload. It's going to unload and move across. Okay. Right, these can push up on the right. These are going for the flag in the middle of the town. Great. It's really nice not to be transport sniped for once. You can just zoom up to them and not care one bit. It looks like we can get quite far up there. Need to pull this back, push this forwards. Need to get into line of sight of this MG with these two Storaki squads. On the left, we have managed to completely outnumber the Infanterist. The Infanterist are really not that good. So, we can kill them off quite well. Not a fan of this mortar popping off though. That's going to be a pain. I have to unload these, because that might hit a transport. Okay, great. Uh, we do need to uh, make sure we get on top of this MG sooner than later, so I think I'm actually going to run across with this Strauki. Going to bring in an OB to help me with this hell. Right, Stoke here can probably kill the MG34. We're definitely doing that. Need to make sure these get into heavy cover. I could do hunt orders, honestly, with the Stroke, but it's not the most reliable. Sometimes they still like to stand out in the open. Well, not a hunt command, a um, seize command is what I meant. Uh, it looks like this Thraki might be dead, unfortunately. I just want to pop that MG if I can. This Thraki told them to fire all their weapons on the MG34 because I don't think they were. But it looks like they failed. Okay. Well, we opened up the left side nicely. Let's just keep pushing across the open here. The Kalari are going to real suck, but it's okay. I do have an AP that's following me up. I think I might get another AP here. It's because there is so much infantry on that hill. We could also go for all of these mortars, of course. We have so many points. I should really just be bringing in loads and loads of infantry and just finishing them off. Um, just going to make sure that these unload up the road as they go. And all of these are in position, so we'll just hit these 
infantry on top of the hill. Good. Is going to take a beating in a second. There comes the mortars. There we go, lovely. That's what we like to see. Just loads and loads of mortifier. I should have the ability to bring in another bunch of them. So I think I'll bring in some on this left hand side to help us with the infantry in the open. Maxims have gone into position, which is good. Uh, we have bumped into these snipers here. See if we can take out the unit. I'm pretty sure I gave an order to hit that before. Oh well. Okay, need some supply, of course. Okay, definitely not anything up here anymore. <laughs> Might be something in these buildings though that I might have to mortar. Right, be good if we can get the total victory. We'll be able to once we hit the left hand side. Quite far away, so looks like a couple of them can't actually fire. It's okay. I'm probably just going to uh, yeah, mortar this area as well. Uh, my OBs aren't in range to or in line of sight, I guess, to fire. Uh, let's unload these lot and have them attack here as well. That should help out. How did we win? Ah, oh, it's a major victory. Ah, that was unfortunate. Total victory would have been good because we would have got the um, destruction of the unit on the campaign map. I think that would be the case anyway. Not entirely sure. Because uh, it was a breakthrough attack, so maybe that causes them not to anyway. But that is a really, really good push through there because it puts us close to this artillery that we can attack next turn. And this unit's still able to be reinforced by this probably in phase B, so it's not completely isolated. However, still need to take care of this unit. If we attack the fifth recon group, this can still reinforce an A. But it is not adjacent, so I think we'd get away with not having to deal with defenses. That might be the way to do it. Yeah, we'll hit the fifth recon group. We're going to be up against a lot of Kalari and annoying stuff, but it should be okay. Okay. Um, I might not initiate with this one. We'll initiate with this one on the left. Because we're, we're basically trying to concentrate our forces towards Bodu. And then we can just either go straight down, or I can maybe go across to Yesh in order to surround all of these units in the center. Okay, it's tactical battle, and we'll jump on in. Now another thing that I should think about doing is setting up my aircraft for interception over units that are a bit isolated on the front line. 
That'd be a good idea, because then we don't get in those situations where we're just being bombed to death, like we have done previously. Okay, the fifth recon group's on their own, so I think this is just a matter of run at them, because and they are going to have snipers and stuff. Should just be able to unload in time. Alright, just mixing up those orders a little bit. I uh, will do just Stroki. Actually, those are Stroki. What am I doing? Those are AT guns. Uh, Stroki DP. On the right hand side. And Stroki on the left. Okay. Well, it's not even on the road. It's okay. We'll sort that out in a second. Okay. I probably need a few units from the middle. Let's just do Maxims. Even though the Maxims, they might get killed off. Not sure. They've got snipers and stuff. I guess we'll be okay. They've got 1,000 meter range on the snipers. So my Maxims will technically outrange them by 200 meters, but that is a fine margin, to say the least. And because it's a recon group, the front line will push very fast. I'm just going to have to pay good attention to where we actually get shot, because it's not going to be very clear. These are going to split off in different directions soon. Okay, Moto Mitraliera. We'll just have to unload and kill that, because otherwise it might kill off some of my units. But oh, they do have their MG34s. Okay, we'll have to be careful of those. Uh, let's just unload couple units here because there was I didn't mean to unload all of these there is another unit of infantry here somewhere another MG that looks things now oh, one of my this has got destroyed oh, I didn't mean to unload them <laughs> keep pressing the wrong buttons <laughs> all right Let's uh, go to the left hand side. Oh, we got Kalari there. Alright, time to bring in some OBs. And I'll have to do. This one's just threes here. That's fine. Oh, I did lose. Oh, you know, it's Taroki DP. It's not good. Okay, but the right side's completely opened up Probably going to have to bring in some units to hunt down the leader unit that's here. I'm going to assume this is a leader unit just by the way it's holding the line. Looks like there's another one on this side as well that I'm going to have to go deal with. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. It's good. Build the Kalari. 
nice. If I can take the last point, I think we just win like really quick. Oh, it's an MG42, okay. It, 30 seconds till victory. Okay. Total victory. Now that was a breakthrough when we got a total victory. We did a lot of damage though because there's not many units in this unit. Yeah, so that's good. All right, so that's definitely pushed through there. Unfortunately, it doesn't really move the 1st Battalion of the 5th Infantry Regiment, but I don't think we necessarily need to. I am just going to move these forwards. I'm actually just going to put that right at the front. Yeah, we're just going to have all of these just flood through this gap, and I might even go as far as to dig in the 1057th. Alright, this is going to move up. Uh, this is definitely going to move up. So, for example, in places like this, we could easily set up like air superiority to deny airspace over this entire aircraft like area. Um, I think we'll probably end up setting up AA here in a second, won't we? So I think I'll do that. We'll do it before we make any attacks. Here's a good example of somewhere I might, where I might need air superiority and also over on the far left side if they want to attack us again there. Yeah, I might put this one over on the left. Definitely the best place. Here... I don't know if it matters so much. I mean, this one is quite isolated, to be honest. We could like air superiority here as well. That's going to be all of my options. So we're not going to get any air superiority here, at least for now. Okay. Um, this artillery, we're going to bombard this unit if we can. Nah, unfortunately, it's out of range. Okay, so we'll just bombard them like this then. Don't know if I need that one there, so we're going to move that all the way up. I think that's okay. These guys are staying dug in in the middle. The AA is not going anywhere. I'm tempted to move that across. Then we can pull this one out. And that one can be a weakness in the front line for this turn, I guess. Uh, but it should be fine. We'll dig that in next turn. And then we'll just have what, one space in between each of these that frees up another airborne unit, which is actually full of VDV. Right, just going to bombard the units that aren't dug in because they are probably at least likely to, or most likely, sorry, to attack us. Okay. So, <laughs> how do I get through here? Well, it looks like I can do this. 
which will stop all of those units nearby from digging in. That's good. Okay, and then what are we going to do? Maybe go for the 1st Battalion of the 16th Infantry Regiment? Or maybe the 7th Assault Battalion would be better to attack? Yeah, the 7th Assault Battalion would be better. Uh, mainly because it's on its own. If I attack this one, then we have to deal with two units. I wish that might actually be a good thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. That might actually be a good thing. Because then I can disorganize them both. Now, I think it'd be better actually if we just attacked one and then destroyed it rather than attacking two and disorganizing. Yeah, that's much better because it. I think the more that we remove from the campaign map, the better because it allows us to move further in the long run. If you leave too many disorganized units up, they end up all recovering at the same turn and then catching you out. It's kind of annoying. So, I mean, this is good. I'm definitely going to have to move up to bring it back in line. does leave us in a bit of a predicament as far as AA is concerned. This unit could get attacked on its own now as well. And actually, I'm not that concerned about this unit being attacked because it does have the 122s. It has Superli. It's got a Resvidka. Pretty well equipped to deal with attacks. Let's hit the 7th Assault Battalion. I'll bring in... Do 80 in phase B. You know, we'll, that'll pull it forwards, won't it? Probably best to just use the rifle regiment there. Right, in we go. So this time around, they didn't reinforce because they couldn't. <laughs> so, that works. But this will push us further down the road again, which will be good. I'm not a fan of the map, actually works in their favour quite a bit because I'm pretty sure all of their units are close range infantry, uh, which is pretty tough for us to deal with. We don't have much of that our, uh, ourselves, so only the Sapati, like on this left hand side, is going to be annoying get up that hill. I can overwhelm them with Stralki, of course. So we'll, we'll try and do that, but. See how it goes. Don't think there was much in the way of AT guns, so we don't have to be worried about those. Guess we can use Avtos maybe. But I think their units have range capability as well. So unless I micro the Avtos, they probably wouldn't do too well. Avtos would work though on the left, I think. Or maybe if I back that up with Straki as well, we could do Straki DP. Yeah, then if there is long range stuff, we can kill it. We'll go across the bridge there. Well, that's the other thing we can probably get away with using is snipers. Yeah, just thought of that because they won't have much in the way of recon infantry. Like they won't have all the Kalari spam that they normally have. So. That might work out in our favour. Just going to have the Maxims move up here and we'll put them on top of the hill in, after the start of the battle. Okay, off we go. And they're, of course, not going to have much in the way of points. So this will push quite a lot on one side of the map or the other. Just going to unload early. That Hotchkiss definitely has the potential to do a lot of damage. Like the Hotchkiss, these can actually kill off my transports quite easily, so definitely have to be careful about that. 
Alright, we're gonna run him down. It's amazing, they have all this close range infantry that I was worried about. And then they're just using Hotchkisses everywhere. And then one over on that left side. Alright, these can just go across the open then. Okay, we'll get up on the hill here, just clear that out. The Maxims can move out forwards for the time being. I'm going to bring in some mortars, I think, because it can be pretty important for dealing with a lot of this stuff. So yeah, these guys, they do have, what's that, seven rifles, two machine guns, and they are two-star veterancy, so they're pretty beastly at range as well, if I'm caught off guard. Not sure about those units in the open there. One of my Stralki died. Oh, good. Oh, wow. It's a Hotchkiss out in the open there. Right, these guys are just going to keep moving on the left. Uh, we do have the mortars coming in. Why are they going that way? That's weird. Right, I guess I'll just unload them there, that's fine. I'm actually going to push across the open there, on the left, I think. Are these guys, they all need to run away. Yeah, and this close range infantry is going to tear me to pieces. They do have their own sniper. Uh, I can certainly mortar that. Going to mortar that Hodgkiss as well. Okay, spreading out a bit there. I'm going to bring up some more Stralki. We'll do one, two, three to push across there. One, two, three. Push into that. Another Stralki dead. These are all the Stralki in the town that are going down because I just can't deal with the open range engagement. These are south the leaders. They're a pain. Uh, let's just try and get rid of these. We're going to have to just mortar between those two. Okay. Um, looks like here so far so good. I can certainly start pushing up that right hand side. Now that I have the mortars apart in position, we can pin down those assault. Probably going to start hitting them already. Okay. Bring in some more Straki. We have to have made it. Приказа. 
A short range mortar fire should hit the mark. Flame thrown there. And these guys run out of ammunition. All right, let's uh, get some ammo on these. Those got them in the end. All right, let's just go capture the forest opposite, and uh, we'll try and capture this point. These guys are all just going to travel across the open here. Good. Currently have the total victory. Fly trucks are arriving. Oh, that Hotchkiss <laughs> revealed itself in range of the Mozins. Oh dear. Very dead. How many people are in that squad? There we go. Yeah, I probably should have just avoided the town from the start. Would have made life a lot easier. Speed things up. Okay, total victory. 9 minutes 26 seconds gets rid of a lot of decent close range infantry oh I didn't actually destroy them oh, that's a shame okay well we can keep driving down the road with the 27th guards tank brigade that's good may as well move up the 464th I think I'm going to attack into the corner here. By saying that... Oh, never mind. These can't reinforce. Yeah, so we will definitely push into the 2nd Battalion of the 37th Infantry. Uh, they will bring in... Uh, there probably won't be too much to deal with, actually. Let's just grab a few units and make that attack. And these guys are currently dug in. So maybe I just want to use these two. Yeah, that's fine. This is going to open up a bit more of a corridor on the left side. So we'll keep, basically make the road a bit more secure. We're attacking him from the other way around this time. <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, this is a bit more standard in terms of map layout. And of course it's breakthrough, so... Yeah, we can just push all the way up to the center. Should be fine. I can drop some OBs on the left. That would definitely help us out a lot. Yeah, we'll try and do that. We're going to bring up some AT for the right. in all the usual positions. I know this map quite well. Okay. 
Okay. Then what we're going to want to do is probably just throw a DP in the town because I can really manage the engagement quite well if I put them in the right buildings. Could do Maxims across the open. I think we'll just stick to Sraki because it's a bit more reliable. Okay. Uh, could do some Sraki DP maybe across here. And... Definitely need some units to push up the right, so we'll just do Throwkey, maybe an Avto to follow up as well. We'll just pile up there. Okay, cool. Let's launch the battle. Off we go. We've got six Throwkey for the left. These guys are going to just spread out and try and capture these two left side objectives. We're only up against one unit, so they might not have the whole map covered. Kind of what I'm counting on, actually. That's not good. I don't want my OB to be unloaded in range. But it kind of is at the moment. Hopefully I can kill the Hodgkiss. Actually, yeah, let's just push them all across like that. That's fine. I'm gonna have to get these Stroki to help me out. Okay. Nice, killed the Hotchkiss, yes, that's good. Move the OB over. I mean, all these OBs can actually move up. We'll start pushing on the main hill. These can start pushing on this objective. Hopefully that unit doesn't die. I really hope it doesn't be unfortunate. Right hand side, completely open. Okay, that unit did die. Left side's quite open as well. Killing off this infanterist. Uh, this is almost dead. I might just swap them out. It's amazing how many machine guns you need to kill one sniper. Bringing in more and more infantry. Bring in some Maxims here as well. This on the edge. Some Kalari there as well. It's all good. Yeah, we're going to have to run from that. Готовы 
Okay, that's going to be Kalari dead. All of these need to just run, I think. Those Maxims kind of got themselves into a bit of a terrible situation. Yeah, that brought them in way too far up. It's not good at all. What I can do is probably unload most of these Thralki on the road and have them push across. And then we can move the Maxims into better positions further back. I mean, best bet really is just bring in a bunch of mortars and and hit that massive blob, but we'll see. We are losing a few Stroki here and there. But overall, I think we're okay. Well, I don't want to attack move towards them from the left there, but not directly towards them anyway. Mm, those guys are in trouble. I think they might be dead anyway. Alright, these might as well fall back because I don't think I'm going to end up getting on top of those Kalari squads now. I can probably try and mortar them in a second, but I need to mortar this area first. We can mortar the hill and we can mortar those Kalari and we can mortar that as a B. That's going to be all our rounds used up. So let's bring in a supply truck. That modifier is going to be spot on. Okay. All well, those need on. They need to run away. <laughs> I think I just had them dying for a long time. Oh, good. We got the land spawns here, that's good. Forces them to bring in stuff on this side instead. Back on the left. So, uh, I'm going to bring up a bunch of snipers here. I think they've used up most of their snipers, so we can probably make use of our own now. Oh, that modifier that I'm using for the Kalari. Did just kill both of the squads, but it's also going to end up pinning down these boys, which is good. That did a lot of damage, actually. I think it hit directly with two shots on top of one another. Loads of damage to those squads. That was nice. Really nice. I'm just going to hit that ZB, and we'll hit both of these Infanterist.
Okay, is that a total victory? It is. Good. 9 minutes, 49 seconds, 37 kills, 15 losses. Quite a lot of losses, honestly. More than I would have liked. Uh, but I think it just comes down to the map. That's going to demolish that unit, push the others back. It actually took away the one that was dug in next to it. So that's now going to open up the front a bit more for us and allow me to uh, bring more troops through. Okay. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. We've done well. We've more or less made all of our attacks in the center. I will need to move forward some more units. I might also look at what sort of reinforcements we can bring in because I'm definitely going to have to start rolling up with some of these tank brigades in order to give myself a bit more punching power towards Yesh. And then here we're going to definitely start doing some stuff on the right hand side. Although it doesn't look like there's going to be any attacks I can make maybe onto the second battalion of the 226th Infantry Regiment because it's isolated. But the rest of the right side is just going to be movement. So it won't be long until we move on to the next turn. Uh, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.